Good afternoon, everybody. It's June 2nd, I think, today, and uh, it's slightly drizzling. Really not amounting to very much out here, but it is drizzling enough to keep us from combining. and it's plugging up. The guys are having a terrible time plugging up the fur towers and stuff, so we are going to be roading this uh, X9 combine into the dealership, and the reason why is because it needs to get its green light, and I know what you're thinking. Like, Mike, I thought you guys do all your own green lights. Uh, run them through your own shop and we do but when we bought the new combines uh, we bought them with I think it was a three year green light so that was already included in the package and I don't know if I would do that again they just really encourage it and I don't think I'd do it again but anyways basically what that means is the techs they go from the front of the combine to the back of the combine and they just inspect everything and uh, the inspection maybe cost a couple thousand bucks and that's basically what we paid for and then anything that resulted that they found in the inspection uh, they would send you a very uh, a breakdown and a detailed list of the things that they would recommend um, changing fixing updating whatever it might be I know I'm bouncing around like crazy because apparently this combine has been sitting for six months and uh, got some pretty flat spots in the tires here so we got to ride this whoa 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 out but so I'm not really interested in that because uh, there's really not gonna be anything wrong the combine's brand new right we didn't even put any crop through it last year because we had none to combine even though we did cut 5136 acres with this particular combine but anyways I am mostly interested in the updates because they got to do a bunch of pips uh, which are updates from John Deere paid for by John Deere and one of them being the seat. Remember when I was having issues with this seat? And it said, please sit down or it would stop the combine and put it in park even though I was sitting in the combine and I'm actually combining. So that was kind of frustrating. And among other things, they got a bunch of pips to do this thing. So that's basically the main reason why we're taking it in there. So I will see you there when we get going. But of course we got to get some roading video in. I know roading video is not the most popular, I get it, but look how green our grass is, guys. It hasn't been that green in probably three years. Like, we've been in crazy droughts. Our grass is green, it's drizzling, it's raining, it's awesome. This is great. Oh, that windshield wiper. You know, I don't understand, well, I was gonna say, I don't know why they put windshield wipers on combines because it's not like that you can combine with your windshield wiper, but look at us. We're using a windshield wiper because we're moving down the road. So I guess I'll just shut up about that. <laughs> we are in our, uh, we do have our shoes off sitting on a piece of plastic down there. Uh, I do like taking my shoes off, especially in the combine. Swather, or swathers. I don't even know where my brain just went there, you guys. Squirrel, but um, sprayers and tractors sprayers it's hard tractors it's easier sprayers you're in and out so much loading and you're always there's always some sort of mud you're always stepping in something because you're cracking those three inch uh um, valves unless you have the fancy dancy uh dash system that blows the air through your valve so then there's no leakage but we do not have that on our particular dash and uh so it, you always spill water on your shoes or the dirt by your shoes and then you step in it because that's just what i always seem to do i know i know I know. But anyways, it feels good to be back at the combine. I'm actually excited about harvest because maybe we'll have one. And uh, super stoked to put some crop through this combine down here. Farmers just love every season. I love seeding. Seeding is probably arguably my most favorite time of the year other than maybe Christmas because I really like the Christmas season. But uh, um, I do like harvest as well. Spraying, spraying's good too because you get to uh, visualize the crop as it grows. Small, keeps getting bigger, 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 and bigger, and bigger. So I do like that too. All right. All right, we're just pulling onto the highway here now. That is our top speed.
still drizzling on us here. Oh, and there's already somebody behind me. How does that happen so quick? Oh, oh, we gotta be, you gotta be careful uh, getting over too far with these bad boys. That back tire, that steer tire, will catch the edge of that pavement on the right-hand side, and it makes things go all wild and willy. I would much rather pull a header or have a header on than uh, run one in road gear without a header. So that begs the question, like, Mike, why wouldn't you uh, just pull your 50-foot header up? Because, you know, you got to do updates to that thing, too. Yes, but I want to do a little bit of work to that header before I bring it up, so that's the reason why. About to go down a valley. I look forward to seeing how green it is. Got to remember, I didn't move our... This is the same valley that we move our drills through when we're going to our farther north land of the South Farm. And I wasn't here for that move. Oh, please. Smokers don't give me a heart attack like that. Nothing serious. Man, we got piled up, people. Hold on here. Okay, there's these two vehicles back here. Yes, I realize it's a solid line, but I'm only doing uh, 18 miles an hour currently. You got to go by me when you see a nice long stretch like this. It's crazy. Everybody else is just flying by. Those two cars are just sitting back there like they expect me to pull over. No, I'm not pulling over. Do you see a guardrail and anywhere for me to pull over? No. Sorry, rant over now. I feel better about it. <laughs> oh, man. It's beautiful. I like the, I like the rain. It's kind of like a foggy, misty rain. down uh, this is about a six percent grade I think so I'm just kind of taking my time now they're gonna go by me on this stretch here come on come on okay I realize that I realize she's a solid line here but you gotta go okay someone's coming here There they all go. Beauty. down here is there any fish in it I have no idea I don't think so but I really don't know then we got to get into the middle of the highway because we got to cross this bridge oh it's a little bouncy wow it's really bouncy Is trying to get by me here. See the water lines on this sandstone or whatever it is? You can't see it. Uh, maybe you can. I'm gonna try to really zoom in here, make sure no one's trying to get by me. No, we're good. Wait, wait for my winter wake to go. Come on, there it is. Oh, no, it's not gonna work. I apologize. 
anyway, can you imagine this valley being pumped full of water? So you can still see the water marks. It's pretty cool. Out at the top, my ears just popped. All right, I will see you guys when we get there. Well, the traffic is ridiculous today. You think it was a rain and everyone's going to town, but you wide open dotted line, there ain't nobody coming for three miles, and he's just sitting back there. He's like, Excuse me, sir, but you are over that yellow line. Look at the other guy coming in the white, he's like, I'm coming through here. I'm zooming, zooming. Oh, finally the little red car is like, okay, fine. If the white guy is gonna go flying by, then I guess you're not gonna pull over. So I'll have to just get by. <laughs> oh man, traffic is fun today. <laughs> oh man. Well, we're just about here. There's town, but if you look in my mirror, the white pickup truck is Lee. He just caught up with me, he's behind me. Then there's a red one and another one behind him. And the red one's been back there for probably about 25 to 30 minutes. Everybody else goes by, except that red one back there. With his, it's got like a white cap on it. Tell me you get paid by the hour without actually telling me you get paid by the hour. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I showed up about a half hour, 45 minutes late, and the boss is like, what took you so long? He's like, well, you see, I got uh, I got tied up behind this combine, sir, and uh, he was uh, he was over centering on that yellow line, and it just wasn't safe to go by. I see everybody else goes by. <laughs> oh man! And we're here. Parked uh, beside some uh, seven eight and seven nine, I guess. All right, got it a little bit dirty. Okay, I got it a lot dirty actually. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. include a picture of uh, Chapel. He has a little John Deere combine and uh, mom doesn't approve I don't think but uh, it kind of matches this one so we go. It's here now. It's here for its inspection. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Adios amigos.